Okay, we have our Taylor integral. We've got the integral from zero to infinity, one over x squared plus four, all squared dx. Okay, now I've done basically the same problem or something really similar a few times. I've done this, I mean, maybe the different value here, right? I mean, I think I, maybe I did it with one or nine or whatever. And I think in the previous videos when I did this, I did, I know I did trig substitution. I think I did integration by parts. Those might be easier. I'm not really sure what's easier. There's multiple ways. But in this video, what I want to do is use Feynman's trick on it. It's kind of a nice example of Feynman's trick, and it's a little different than some of the other ones that we've done. So to get started with this, I want to parameterize it. And where it's different is, and where this is different from some other ones I've done is usually we try to parameterize this. In this case, I'm going to try to parameterize, create an integral that we then differentiate, and then it's going to look like this. So the way we're going to do it for a parameter is we're going to look at this value right here as a squared, and that's going to be our a in this right here. And so when I do this, we're going to have, we're still going to integrate from zero to infinity, but what we're going to do is we're going to have just dx over x squared plus a squared. Noticing it's like we just have a one coefficient here instead of the two here, because that way when we differentiate, we're going to end up getting the squared term later on. But the nice thing here is this is actually a very well-known, easy integral to do. Whereas usually we're using Feynman's trick on the first part to like deal with that integral here. It's like, we know this. In a lot of cases, our goal is this f of a value. In this case, it's not because we already know how to do this one. So we're just using this value, which is gonna be easy to find. So this is just gonna be our arctan formula, right? So this is gonna be one over a arctan of x over a, and we just need to evaluate this from zero to infinity. Well, when you evaluate at zero, it's just zero. And at infinity, this part is gonna be just pi over two. So for our f of a value, what we end up getting is just gonna be pi over two a. And so now for our next step, what we're gonna do is we wanna get our derivative, we want our f prime of a value. So we're gonna to wanna to differentiate with respect to a. Well, what I'm gonna do is, instead of differentiating out here, we're gonna differentiate inside the integral as a partial. But we're also going to do the same thing on the right side of the equation. So we're going to differentiate with respect to a of this thing, pi over 2a. Now, on the left side, when we do this, what's going to happen? We'll think of the whole thing. We'll think of this as x squared plus a squared to the minus 1. First, differentiating this with respect to a, we're going to use power rule. So it's going to be like minus 1 x squared plus a squared to the minus 2. And then we're going to need chain rule on this, but the derivative of x squared with respect to a, that's just going to be zero. Div derivative of a squared, that's going to bring a 2a out over here. But then this minus 1 times 2a is just a constant that I can bring out front of the integral. And then I can rewrite x squared plus a squared to the minus 2. I can rewrite that in the denominator. And then doing it that way, just notice that what we have right here with just this integral, this is in exactly the same form as our goal. So this is what we're going to use in order to get back to our answer. And then differentiating on the right side, pi over two is just a constant, so we'll just put that down. Derivative of one over a is just gonna be minus one over a squared, so we can write it like this. And so everything here, this is gonna be our f prime of a value, but this is not quite what we want because notice we're still including this minus two a in this here, and our goal is just this. So this is like minus two a is not quite what we're looking for. So this isn't quite what we want, but all we need to do is let's just divide by minus two a on both sides, divide by minus two a, divide by minus 2a. But now we don't really care about this part anymore because, because now when this cancels off, we've kind of isolated exactly what we want, which is just this integral right here. We just need to clean this up a little bit. Minus times minus is gonna be a plus. Dividing into 2a, this is gonna all simplify down to pi over four a cubed. And so this is gonna be our general solution for this integral. We'll give it some other label. We can call it g of a, just separating it from the f of a. And so coming back to our problem for this a squared to be four, that means a is two. So when we have a is two on this, this is gonna be, our solution is just gonna be g at two. So plugging in to get our g at two value, we're gonna have just pi over four, two cubed. And so just multiplying it out for my final solution, we have just pi over 32. Okay, there you go. Another good one using Feynman's trick. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.